Uh, welcome. Uh, it's very nice to meet all of you. Uh, so the to uh, topic today is uh, about, about how the chain letters evolve. Uh, the purpose to, 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 to do this for you to, uh, is to, to actually to tell you about how molecular evolu uh, evolution happens via chain letters. Uh, before, before we go, let, let me show you a movie trailer from the chain letter movie. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you all like it. Okay, uh, I, I hope you've got, all got the idea, right? I mean, the chain letters can, can evolve by threatening you uh, so that you send the chain letters. You cannot break the chain. Um, the, the purpose for me to, to do this, the, the, the question is why bother, right? This, these are all spam letters and so on. But, but really, they are not. Uh, so they, are, they tell us about evolution. And we can learn this uh, from these chain letters about how the genes evolve. Um, so let me begin with my story from 13 years ago. Uh, so this is Charles Bennett. Uh, he visited me from, uh, uh, in, I was in Hong Kong uh, trying to see the, the, the big event of uh, the Hong Kong the turning back to uh, mainland China. Uh, so I was in Hong Kong, he visited me in Hong Kong and we hiked on the Lion Rock, the mountain. Uh, so so he, 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 he told me that he has a bunch of a collection of chain letters. So remember, so these chain letters are real chain letters. They are not like the chain letters you people see today from the emails. Those are really spam. Uh, so the old chain letters are not spam. <laughs> they, are, they are very nice. They are, they are nice letters. So he was asking me, can we figure out how these chain letters have evolved? Uh, so, so I... Uh, so, the, so, so then I said, okay, let's, let's mail these chain letters, let's work on these things. So, so the question, of course, is why are we interested in these chain letters? Uh, other than they're fun, other than there's a movie, uh, so other than you're scared that you have to forward these letters on. Well, so, so first of all, they, they, they are very similar to our genes. So the field that Dan and I were, uh, are studying, uh, as Dan will be talking about in a talking about in the next uh, his lecture. Uh, so so we, we work on in bioinformatics. We, we deal with genes. But these chain letters have similar length as the genes. And they evolve similarly. Um, so so the, 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 the evolution of chain letters, studying chain letters will help us to, to understand our techniques uh, that, uh, for, 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 for processing the genes. Actually, they will they are, they, are, they, are, they are readable, other than genes that are not readable. Uh, okay, so let me give you one example. Why should we study these things? Um, so this is, uh, in, in bioinformatics, we study uh, uh, phylogeny. So, so for example, the question is here uh, whether this is Eutherian order, whether we are closer to the pharyngulates, to a horse, uh, than, uh, than a mouse, or we are closer to a mouse uh, from a horse, uh, which is true. So here is a phylogeny that we have constructed, a evolutionary tree. Uh, so so this, in this phylogeny, which used, used the method I used for constructing the chain letter phylogeny uh, later today, uh, late, later in this lecture. Uh, so, so in this particular phylogeny, uh, you can see that uh, from the bottom, I don't have a laser, print, laser pointer. Uh, the human is close to the uh, chimpanzees and the orangutan and the gor gorillas and the gibbons. Uh, so these are the, the, the bottom cl uh, cluster is certainly called primates. Um, the, 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 the middle cluster is the pharyngulates that includes the horse. Um, uh, so, so, so the whales goes with cows, and the horse goes with rhinos, and the cats goes with the uh, seals. Uh, so these are all biologically verified, and uh, so these biologists, bio biologists think that these are all correct uh, branching. Uh, then then the, the farther away you have uh, uh, rodents, uh, then you have uh, all these uh, marsupials and uh, monotremes. Uh, so these are uh, so so the, 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 the bottom three major branches, rodents and the frangulates and the primates, 
they are uh, the so-called placental mammals. Uh, so the, the, la the last, uh, the top branch is the uh, uh, marsupials. Uh, where when they have babies, uh, these babies are too, they don't have, they don't have placenta, so therefore the babies are small, or sometimes they have eggs, like the the platypus. All right. So the question is now, but is this correct? Nobody can read all these genes. We constructed the uh, the phylogeny from the genes, right, from the sequence, DNA sequence or protein sequences. Uh, so how do you know these are correct? Uh, so the chain letters actually provide a, a, a very readable form of a sort of a guinea pig, digital guinea pig uh, uh, as a teaching tool so that I can t explain this technique, technology evolution to you so that, uh, and to us, to, to, to ourselves as well so that we can read these things, these genes. Uh, okay, so this is one of the oldest the chain letters. So the chain letters started uh, Probably uh, no late no uh, well, in the 1980s, uh, in the 1800. Uh, before that, uh, the chain letters was not possible because they are t the males were too 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 expensive. Imagine that you 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 get a chain letter, you you have to forward it to to 20 friends, but but it costs you a fortune to send these two uh, these 20 letters. Certainly, you probably will not send them. So therefore, the earliest the chain letters uh, that we have discovered is uh, is more or less from the 1800. 1800. Um, so this particular chain letter was supposedly to be written by the Jesus himself. <laughs> this is a modern chain letter. I guess I, I don't have time for this. Uh, this is a um, uh, sample chain letter that, that Charles Bennett, one of the chain letters we have used. So remember, I got these chain letters in 1997 from Charles. So Charles has worked, uh, collected these chain letters over the past 20 years. From uh, start, starting from 1970 something, 1980 something to 1997. In those in those years, there were no emails. Those are all written chain letters. Those are all real chain letters. So uh, so I think it it will be interesting that I sort of quickly read through these chain the letters so you know what this is about. Uh, so this one says, uh, "Trust in Lord with all your heart, and you will acknowledge, and He will light the way." Oh, he will acknowledge and light the way. Uh, the prayer has been sent to you for good, for good luck. The original copy is from the Netherlands. It has been around the world nine times. Uh, the luck has been brought to you. Uh, you are to receive good luck within four days of receiving this letter. This is no joke. You will receive it in the mail. Uh, send. Uh, uh, send copies of this letter to people you think uh, who need good luck. Do not send money. Do not keep this letter. It must leave your hand in, within the 90, 96 hours after you receive it. Uh, an RAF officer uh, received $70,000. Uh, Don Elliott received $50,000 and lost it because he broke the chain. Uh, well, in the Philippines, General Welch uh, lost his life. Uh, remember, uh, General Welch lost his life. Later, we'll uh, go back to this part. Six days after he received this letter, he failed to circulate the prayer. However, before his death, he received the $775,000. Uh, please send to 20 people. Uh, please send 20 copies and see what happens. And so on. So essentially, it's 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 trying to like the movie. It's trying to tell you that if you send the letter, uh, you will receive good luck. If you don't send the letter, you will die, or something extremely ha bad will happen to you. So this has been going on. This letter apparently has been very very successful. Uh, so so it 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 it, it has, has survived for about 100 years. And this is even survived to modern times. Uh, remember that the uh, the. This particular letter, the modern letter that I, I, I showed to you, essentially is a variation of the email version of that letter. Right? Essentially, it says that now you have sent to 15,000 people instead of 20 copies uh, in, by email. This is easy, right? All free. Uh, and, and then the story becomes more nastier. <coughs> OK, uh, and that's a kiss mark. That's for real. 
That's a real kiss mark actually. So, so if you look at this chain letter, this particular guy has uh, 1600 uh, characters. Uh, it evolves over time. It's very, very selfish. It tries to spread itself. So, so, so all these chain letters does that, right? This, this tells you that you send it on, otherwise you die. <laughs> and apparently, people, pe pe people, get, uh, people are afraid of this somehow. And so, so many people do send this letter. And my friend, uh, Charles Bennett, he's a famous physicist. And he, he's actually the father of uh, quantum, uh, uh, quantum uh, uh, cryptography. Uh, so, but he has received 30 some letters all right, over the uh, period of 20 years, all same letters, all, all, uh, with, with different variations, of course. And apparently, these things do go on. And the millions and the billions of people do have received this letter. I'm sure that uh, all of you have received some version of this by email, of course, nowadays. Uh, so this is another letter that we don't have to go through. Uh, let's make a comparison. So this one is a gene, cystic fibrosis gene. So, um, so it has 1,480 uh, characters, very similar uh, length of, with the chain letter. It also evolves over time. It also very selfish, tries to spread itself. Uh, but the only difference is that this is not readable. Chain letters are readable. So for chain letters you can read, for genes you cannot. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, so this is a very important gene because uh, a deletion of uh, uh, an, an, uh, an F at the 500, 508 uh, position. Uh, so this causes the uh, cystic fibrosis. Uh, so one out of 25 uh, Caucasian population carry this gene. Now if you have two of these genes, uh, then you're in trouble, I think. If you, had, if you just have one, then you're okay. Um, so, so, but, but then this is important that, that, that uh, for drug developers, uh, for, for, for biotechnology to, to, to dis discover this kind of uh, uh, mutations. So these kind of uh, mutations are deadly. Uh, another example is the, uh, uh, the, the sickle cell an anemia, anemia. So in this particular case, uh, uh, so this uh, hemoglobin has two chains, alpha chain and beta chain. Uh, in this particular case, the beta chain, the number six amino acid in the, on the beta chain uh, mutated from a hydrophilic uh, amino acid to a hydrophobic amino acid. Essentially, this amino acid on the surface of the protein becomes hating water. Now, if you hate water, it backs in, uh, pushed in by the water. So therefore, it causes somehow uh, the, the blood cells become sickle shape rather than round, your, your red blood cell. So then, then it causes trouble. Uh, it causes the sickle cell uh, anemia uh, syndrome. And, and this has a major problem in the African uh, population. Um, so in this particular, particular case, the alpha chain, beta chain, each has about 140 uh, characters, and the number six character on the beta chain, uh, beta chain has been uh, changed from E to a uh, glutamic acid to a valine, valine uh, uh, amino acid. All right. So so these are how the 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 uh, the, uh, the, the genes in, uh, evolve. And sometimes a mutation can be deadly. So here, let me give you another example that, that the chain letters evolve in a very, very similar way as the uh, 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 genes. Uh, so, so in this particular case, a, so, this, so, so I sh I'm showing this as a protein. So you know that the genes get trans, uh, transcribed uh, into a mRNA. mRNA gets translated into a protein sequence, then the protein sequence folds into three-dimensional space, and they become this. All right. So in this particular case, uh, the, the arginine, uh, the a ARG249, gets deleted. Now, when, when this thing gets deleted, then this a ARG gets lost. Then the binding here becomes loose, not very strong. In order to compensate this mutation, Nature has taken care of uh, introducing another lysine uh, on the other side. So, so when, when you have a compensating mutation, when, when there's something lost here, 
and something introduced, uh, and the binding over here still uh, is okay. Uh, the, the remains. So, so this is in our biology called a, a compensating mutation. So, let me show you a compensating mutation in the chain letters. It's very interesting. Uh, remember that uh, RAF officer. Uh, where is that guy? Uh, so here, we have uh, uh, the R. Uh, Don Elliot in the middle received received the fifty thousand dollars and lost it because he broke the chain. Well, in, oh, no, okay. So well, in Philippines, General Welch lost his life. Remember, lost his life six days after he received the chain uh, the letter. Uh, he failed to circulate and the prayer and all that stuff. Okay, let's look at this letter. So this one. Says well in the Philippines, Jean Welch, Jean Jean Walsh. Remember, so there's a mutation already. So instead of a general Welch, it becomes Jean, becomes a name. Uh, still Jean Jean Walsh uh, lost his wife six days after receiving the letter. So instead of his life, so the the the, the guy who typed retyped the chain letter. Remember, there was not an email. It was like you need to retype. Or copy machines, but sometimes you have to retype. So when the guy retypes, so life becomes wife. But then when when it becomes a wife, uh, six days after receiving the letter, then he failed to circulate the letter. However, before her death, before it was before his death, because because if you lost his life, then then it was before his death. So now if you have lost you lost a wife. Then the next sentence becomes before her death rather than his death. So, so, so therefore, uh, his life, well, his life mutates to his wife. Uh, then his death becomes her death. So, so this this is sort of a, a mutation, uh, a compensating mutation that happens in biology and the chain letters.